Hello friends, in case you've been following me on Instagram, you might know that I was really excited for this video for a while. As you can see on this video's title, in this video I'll be making paper for the first time. It's not actually the first time because I tried making paper before recording to see if I actually can make decent paper for a video and it went well in my perspective. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you're new and let's make some handmade paper. Also, this video was highly inspired by Nevermind's Lisa YouTube videos, so make sure to watch her videos in case you didn't get something from this video. Recently I graduated from university and I cleaned all my stuff from university from my bedroom and I found out a lot of paper that I wanted to put on the trash. But I remember that I wanted to try to make paper, so I put it that aside and I did recycled and made paper with all the paper I don't need. So if you try making paper, make sure to recycle it instead of using new paper. That's quite a waste if you see in the same perspective as I do. So the first thing that I did was ripping the paper into small pieces. I started by using my hands, but then I like to use a scissors for that. If you have a shredder, then I recommend using it for less work. But if you don't have, use this method and you'll have the same results. Then I added some water to the recipient and left the paper soak for about one day. I tried to make sure all the paper was inside the water and I love to see the water turning blue. After sitting for 24 hours, I used a hand blender to turn the paper into pulp. You can also use a blender, but I don't own one, so I use this tool instead. I put some of the paper and some water from this recipient, so I don't waste water and I started blending. After making the pulp, I used the kitchen mesh to remove the excess water from the pulp. Since I want to store some pulp, I made sure to leave some water so I can use in the future. I drained the water in the recipient as well, just to avoid the wasting. After the pulp is ready, I cut some old sheets into rectangles and set them in place so I can start making paper well organized. 
The paper you're gonna see me making right now is the first pulp I made for my test before recording. The paper is more brown toned. I'm going to make the white paper soon enough, but I didn't want to waste this pulp that I already had. I put a handful of pulp inside my water and I started to stir it really well. The goal is to make the pulp dissolve in the water and to not be chunky. After stirring everything, I grabbed my handmade mold and decal, which I made by using two equal picture frames and a lost mosquito mesh I found in my house, and fixing it with some staplers. It's actually really easy to make and I'll leave some tutorials and related videos to this one in the description down below so you can see where I got inspired and some helpful videos as well. Once I get a good amount of pulp on my mold and decal, I put it carefully in one arm to, to hold it and with the other hand, I carefully open the mold and decal and ta-da, a masterpiece. Then I put a piece of paper on one sheet and pressed it to make sure that the edges glue to the sheet and that doesn't get ripped. After that I used a sponge to remove the excess water and I put it all back inside the water recipient. Then I repeated these steps over and over again until there's no more pulp to use and I stacked all these sheets on top of each other. Be careful when you lift, you need to be patient so the paper doesn't get messy. Avoid touching in the paper while wet so it stays all the same. In case you mess up, try again. I had to do it also and you'll see in this video. I put some cloth specks to later hang each sheet on the paper so it can dry. But before that, let's make the white paper as well.
Remember when I said that I messed up? Well, I messed up and I tried again. I'm not sure if this is the right way to redo, but it worked for me. I just took this messed up paper and put it back in the water and tried again. And it went better at the second try. Don't quit if you mess up while making paper or anything actually. As I said, you need to be patient. Now I just left the paper dry for some hours. I just hanged them in this gloves line and waited for the paper to be dried. Here's the best part of the video. Peeling the paper from the sheets. This was actually my favorite moment and the most satisfying part of making paper. If you want you can put your paper under some heavy books to make it straighter. It did it, I did it using my bullet journals and this paper brings me some vintage vibes and I absolutely loved it. I used this handmade paper for my September bullet journal team and I will leave the link in the, in the description so you can watch me using this paper in it. Here's a pen test and it passed with my Muji pen. I don't recommend using water-based stationery in this paper, like watercolor or brush pens, because it will bleed, but for decoration I think you can use it as you wish. Also, the Tamifuda no Suke heart tip pen works perfectly. I hope you liked this ASMR slash tutorial of how to make paper. If you liked, please like and subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell so you know when a new video pops up on my channel and leave a paper emoji in the comment section, so I know you watched this video until the end and that you are a real one. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day or night wherever you are. I'll see you in the next video friends, bye!